Thank you for joining us for our daily gospel reflection. My name is Maureen Demler, and I serve as deacon at St. George's Episcopal Church in Clifton Park, New York. Today is the third Wednesday after Pentecost. Let us pray. O oh God, from whom all good proceeds, grant that by your inspiration we may think those things that are right, and by your merciful guiding may do them. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Today's reading comes from the Gospel according to Luke the 19th chapter, beginning at the 11th verse. As they were listening to this, he went on to tell a parable, because he was near Jerusalem, and because they supposed that the kingdom of God was to appear immediately. So he said, A nobleman went to a distant country to get royal power for himself and then return. He summoned ten of his slaves and gave them ten pounds and said to them, Do business with these until I come back. But the citizens of his country hated him and sent a delegation after him, saying, We do not want this man to rule over us. When he returned, having received royal power, he ordered these slaves, to whom he had given the money, to be summoned so that he might find out what they had gained by trading. The first came forward and said, Lord, your pound has made ten more pounds. He said to him, Well done, good slave, because you have been trustworthy in a very small thing. Take charge of ten cities. Then the second came, saying, Lord, your pound has made five pounds. He said to him, And you rule over five cities. Then the other came, saying, Lord, here is your pound. I wrapped it up in a piece of cloth, for I was afraid of you. Because you are a harsh man, you take what you did not deposit and reap what you did not sow. He said to him, I will judge you by your own words, you wicked slave. You knew, did you, that I was a harsh man, taking what I did not deposit and reaping what I did not sow? Why then did you not put my money into the bank? Then when I returned, I could have collected it with interest. He said to the bystanders, Take the pound from him and give it to the one who has ten pounds. And they said to him, Lord, he has ten pounds. I tell you, to all those who have, more will be given. But from those who have nothing, even what they have will be taken away. But as for these enemies of mine who did not want me to be king over them, bring them here and slaughter them in my presence. Here ends the reading. Today's parable concludes Luke's account of Jesus' journey to Jerusalem which we began in our readings three weeks ago. As Jesus and his entourage approaches Jerusalem, some of the party clearly think that God's kingdom is about to appear, meaning, it seems, that Jesus will sweep all before him as the new Davidic king, free Israel from the Roman oppression, and set up a new regime of justice and peace. In response to this expectation, Jesus tells the parable of the ten pounds given by a nobleman to servants to trade with until his return. The idea of a king going away and returning with servants, either obedient or disobedient in his absence, would be heard in Jesus' day as a story about Israel's God himself leaving the temple at the time of the exile but promising to return at last according to the prophets, Isaiah, Zechariah, and Malachi, with Israel represented by the servants 
who might or might not be trustworthy in his absence. This is Luke's point. Jesus is embodying the return of Yahweh to Zion. The disobedient servant in the parable corresponds directly to the impenitent Jerusalem, which must now hear the word of judgment, which we shall hear in our reading Friday, because you did not recognize the time of your visitation from God. Because we live during the time between Jesus' departure and his second coming, this applies to us too. We have been given excellent resources to build and expand God's kingdom. Jesus expects us to use these talents so that they multiply and the kingdom grows. He asks each of us to account for what we do with his gifts. While awaiting the coming of the kingdom of God in glory, we must do God's work. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross that everyone must come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you for the honor of your name. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Join us every weekday morning for our gospel reflection and look on the St. George's website for our in-person services and other offerings.